Hello everybody. Well, hopefully this is a long-awaited Paddy Back to videos again. Um, as you all know, I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to play the sympathy card. Um, I've had a little trouble with my mental health, but I'm finally back on the road to recovery and that's a definite this time. Uh, I tried to come back too early last time, wasn't ready, so I just backed off again. So I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, I apologise for not putting the content out, but this is the start and hopefully every other day I'm going to knock you out a video and get back to normal. But I thought today what I would do is I would tell you, although I've been sort of isolating myself, um, never mind COVID, I've been isolating myself anyway, but I just wanted to show you what I've been carrying the most of. And to be honest with you, this is not a sort of typical review of what I have been carrying because normally I go through a lot of knives. I'm testing knives. I carry the knife that I'm going to carry for that day anyway. But I haven't been doing that. I've bought very few knives. I've spent a lot of money. We're down the caravan. I've spent my money more on things for the caravan. So there's not a lot of new knives to come. I have a few. And I have some from my uh, pass around group, which I'll be happy to show you. Um, but we'll get back on that trail again. This is just to get me back in again. I've been incredibly nervous. I don't know why, but there we go. And I know you are fine. And thank you for all the well wishes. I really appreciate all your support. But what I've been carrying, well, look, now that I've moved down to the caravan this last couple of weeks, I've been carrying this more. And this is the LC200 Spider Co. Salt Series, um, the Native 5. I died the scales, if you remember. This, when I'm going down the beach or I'm taking the dog for a walk around the beach, this is what I put in my pocket. Um, and I just do a bit of whittling with it in the beach or just cutting. Look, what I would do is now, people, I pick up a stick sometimes and just sit there and whittle it. That's what I do with it. And it's absolutely lovely. And I have no fear when I come back of it being covered in salt and have to clean it. I just throw it back in the box and that is it. I don't even wipe it down, to be honest with you. Um and it's been abs it showed absolutely no sign of any rust. And I don't expect it to, to be honest. The price it cost and what's on it, the materials are excellent. But a lovely knife to carry as an EDC when you're in a, a water-filled zone, a saltwater zone, or a damp environment. Secondly, probably the knife that I have, apart from one, this knife has been used probably the most this is my boy's knife number 15 with a clip point it is beautiful you can see by the tarnishing on that blade and that's natural tarnish i haven't been uh i haven't been doing any putting any vinegar in it that's just wear and tear cutting fruit cutting stuff up little boxes around the caravan and at home when i was at home i've had this probably about a month these next two knives i've had about a month and they have been used to death this one especially really has uh, just cutting up anything at all and it's just performed to perfection strop at the end of the day it's 1095 a beautiful pocket carry nice and light when i'm in my tracky bottoms really do love it so that's the boys knife number 15 which has been my most used knife in my pocket over the last month, without a, without a doubt. It's gorgeous. I really do love it. The size is absolutely perfect. And I love that clip blade, getting more and more into it. Now, the next knife I'll be using, and look, to be honest with you, I haven't been using many cheap knives because I've had the choice of not having to worry about carrying for reviews and things like that. So I've picked my good knives, as I think most people would in most circumstances. So... The next one is my properly tuned uh, Incozy, my Chris Reeves Incozy. This knife is just gorgeous. Now, in saying that, uh, it's not perfect. It's just about big enough for me and no more, but that's with the lanyard. I think if I didn't have the lanyard on, this would probably be a bit too small. And we're talking millimetres here. Not anything great. Sorry, that's my dog barking outside in the caravan. So... It really has been the go-to knife. I love it, but I really do need this little bit in the back to make it perfect for me. And I have used and used it. I'm not overstuck on S35VN. I'll be honest with you, I would rather have S30V. But in saying that, in saying that, it sharpens easily. But this is more of a fidget tool than I thought it would be. I have it tuned absolutely perfection. It took about three or four goes. And I can now flick it open if I want to. But to be honest with you, listen to this. 
it's just gorgeous. I love the sound of it. And anybody that knows me, sounds and knives, like the boy's knife opening and closing it, this is exactly the same. I would rather this than a, a front flipper or anything. It is just so beautiful to use. I absolutely love it. But again, that it's not completely flawless. The S35VN, I find it loses its... On this on this knife, I find it loses its extremely sharp edge quickly. Now, it goes on for ages. You know, cutting cardboard, you're never going to notice it. But I do notice when I cut clips, or I've been cutting a lot of plastic, and it does take the edge off it quite quickly. Um, now, not blunting, not chipping, just takes that really nice edge off it that, I, that with 20 CV M390, I don't tend to get. I have it sharpened well enough. There's nothing wrong with the knife as far as that goes. But I have carried this and sat and fiddled with this more than I think any other knife I've owned. So people are going to say, but that's an expensive knife. Yeah, it is an expensive knife. But if you look at this, this is a user. This has not been molly coddled whatsoever. I use it for everything. Absolutely love it. So again, for my bigger knife, this is the one I've been carrying and using, especially for cutting up boxes and things around the, the caravan. Now, the knife I have used most has not changed. And if any of you want to know what that is or don't know what that is, it's this one. And you can see this lovely cut my finger. Thank God for my nail because it went straight down, stopped at my nail. It cut me the other day. That's about three days old now. But this is it, the Spidey Chef. I just use this in the kitchen nearly every day, if not every day. Uh, it's just a, an absolute true firm favourite. I love it. It's used. I rinse it under the tap. I put it back in the box and it's ready for another day. Don't have to do anything with it. No signs are rough. No marking even on the blade, but just a perfect, for me, it's a perfect kitchen knife. I don't need anything else. Uh, I, I love this. This does everything I wanted to do in the kitchen. So there you go, that's the knives I've been carrying. But I've also sort of changed, because I'm in trackies a lot and I'm down the caravan, I'm lighting barbecues and things like that, I've been carrying a lighter again on a permanent basis. You know, this is in my pocket down here. I'm burning things, whatever. And this is one of those, I got this ages ago, you can see it there. It's one of these uh, electronic, the, the super duper... Um, sci-fi lighter as i call it but it's it's great and it recharges you just where's the charger there it is you just recharge it and away it goes and it lasts forever an absolute great way now it's a way knife it's called i got this from i think it was gear best i'm not sure but a really worthwhile lighter and i like it and it looks quite nice you know it does it looks quite nice so I'm carrying that on the daily basis. And then I just got this recently. I'll do a review on this soon. I'll, I'll do a nighttime review, especially down the caravan here. This is the Through Night T1. And this is a Desert Tan version of their T1. They do it in black as well. But it's a little small. There's a palm in my hand. It's a little small. 1,500 lumens out of this little light. Comes with a rechargeable battery with it. Um, again so so handy it's waterproof it's drop proof for a meter and a half you charge it underneath here they give you spurs of this little rubber flip over cap so it's just a matter of pulling that down and charging it i love it i have the bigger model as you know and this is just a smaller one great for when you're in tracky bottoms or shorts so there you go that's what i've been carrying and lastly but not least is the Gerber dime. I'm back down to caravan. This has been down here for three months during lockdown. It's back in my key ring. This is just my caravan keys, the front and back door. And that's all I put in my pocket when I'm going out. And with the wee Gerber dime, uh, it's lovely to have it back on. My other one, uh, my, uh, the Lansky or whatever it is, is on my other key ring. Not the Leatherman, sorry, Leatherman squirt is on my main keys, but this is the one for down the caravan. So there you go. That's it all done and dusted the knife that has impressed me probably the most and i suppose it's not going to be a surprise but that is just my dream knife i love that knife more than i ever thought i could possibly do it's just so blooming useful and it's small it's handy in my pocket it takes up no room but i need that for my hand and my hand's about three and a half inches across so that just fits in lovely. With that in the back, it gives me the support I need and I can grip on confidently with my last wee finger, but only because this is catching on the back of my hand and giving me that support. But that's perfect. 
perfect as could do. It, it does. It sits perfect. But I really do love it. Um, I'll probably do a long time review, but I can see this being used a lot. But I am looking forward to getting back to testing different knives again and getting some sort of routine in my channel. Um, um, within the next two days, you will I promise you have another video of a lovely little QSP knife that I got from Heine Ains last week. Uh, I'll do a review on it. A real good bargain knife. It's about 26, 27 pound cracking little knife in D2. So that's your next video. Look forward to seeing you. And again, thank you for your patience and the new subscribers. Plenty of plenty of content to come as is normal on my channel and you're very welcome to the channel if i haven't met you or spoke to you i haven't caught up on any of my old uh uh correspondence but i will do over this next week or so thank you so much for watching and it's nice to be back patty's gone cup of tea time bye now